Okay, this camera here is, uh, I think, called Avio Cheetah 3. It's made by Tasco, whatever this company stands for, and it's a microscope. A lot of you were asking online how to install it or is it possible to still install it on a Windows 10? Because yes, sometimes I just search online for solutions to problems that some people are looking for. And this was quite a baffling thing because I actually didn't see straightforward solutions for it. Which is weird because this has been around for quite a while and it's, some people call it traveler microscope, some people think it's a toy but actually can be used for more than a toy and all that, but yeah, it's called Avio Cheetah 3. It's a USB 2.0, it has 10 times zoom, 60 times zoom, and 120 times zoom. It has, you know, you can take pictures and video with it, it has a light, here's the camera, here's the top light and the bottom light, yes, it makes contact here with the rail here, and here's how you fix the uh, clarity or whatnot. Now, let's get to the point that actually how I got to getting this working. It was... Not the most straightforward thing I ever done, but there is a way. And as you see right here on my screen, this was an archive that somebody had actually posted the entire CD, the uh, Traveler version 7, the USB microscope, German looks like there. And yes, that's the Avio Cheetah. Whoever posted this had the uh, blue version, but that doesn't matter because all we need here is the file, as you see. Let me get rid of this uh, file thingy here. The file, you can download any of these here. In my, myself, I went with a torrent because it was easier to download. After you get the torrent, you will have a folder. This one right here, uh, minus this part here. This is the extracted part from the zip file. This is the zip file. All these other files actually were in it. So here, I just extracted everything, boom, to a folder. After I open the folder, all I installed to make it work, yes, there is a lot of bells and whistles, looks like here, that you can tinker with and install other stuff. But to make it work on my Windows 10, yes, it is up updated to the latest Windows 10. I simply went to driver. I installed this file right here. That is literally all I did. And after that was installed, yes, it, it, it just has a... Normal next, next, next thingy. As you see here, it's asking me if I want to repair because I already have it. When you finish, that you hit next the last time, it will ask you to uh, restart your computer. Restart the computer. You must restart it. And after the restart, you'll have this app here. It just says Cam App. That is all. And it doesn't look like anything. But when you go to Devices, for example, you'll see if your camera appears there when you connect it. And it will show up as, let me just plug it real quick. Boom, as you saw, it is connected. It will uh, show there as USB camera. Let me close it. Let me flip you to the actual microscope, whatever you wanna call it, right here. It is connected right now. And let me just click this camera right here. It will connect directly. And as you see, let me put the screen now right here. This is what you will see from this camera. Let me just make it a little bit smaller so you guys can see enough of it. Here's the microscope itself, the camera connected. Let me drop a paper, whatever. We are on 10x right now. As you see, this is what the camera sees right now. And the light here, you can turn the light on as you see. It works. You can make it clearer or not. Let me go to 60x. So we actually see the grain here. And let me make it clear. Boom. This is this from this little cheapo micro uh, microscope huh? it's not from anything expensive now let me put it to 120x me clarify it a little bit boom as you see now we see the paint and the shade and all that you can turn off the light if you want to if you feel like you have enough light and so on and so off let me put for example a us dollar Yes, this is a US dollar. It's on 120 right now, but as you see, you can see the fibers because yes, US dollar is not made of paper. It is fiber. Let me drop it to 60 really quick. Let me clean it up a little bit. As you see, boom, this is a US dollar. Let me drop it to 10x, which is the normal. Clear it up a little bit. And here you have your microscope. In my opinion, it works really good. Look at this CD, for example. These tiny dots here, 
Let me put them under this microscope and how they look. But I probably have to turn off the light because there's too much light here already. And this is that same cube under this microscope with the light off. Let me zoom in a little bit more what we can see from it and this is a corner of that cube but we'll try to clarify it yep we can actually even see some kind of pores or whatever it was painted with as you see that's actually beautiful and if i touch just a little bit as you see we can see the pores of the paint put on this cd that is interesting so Yes, it came from these tiny pores that you can barely see on in real life, but that's just how it works. And yes, this is the uh, microscope working, the uh, Avio Cheetah 3. I will leave a link to the driver or the CD from uh, archives so you can download it and save it and you can tinker with it if you need more than that. And yeah, again, let me just take it out of here so you guys can see how it looks. Just... A normal microscope that works and it's portable it's just powered by this tiny usb it's a uh let me disconnect it mini usb that you might have from older devices and that's all that is all it is to this avio cheetah 3 microscope that you can install on yourself and i hope you enjoyed this video and for all of you that it seemed like you have been looking for years to find a solution to make it work on windows 10 here it is just make sure you keep a copy of that driver on a cd or something that's safe enough for you and you don't lose it with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i deserve a like and subscribe and share if you don't mind that and we'll see you next time bye